excellent Halloween and night for night for most folks and <laughs> I did a lot of work also there's a new schedule I decided to create all my reviews on Saturday since it works so well with the Halloween specials so I'm just gonna stick with what I do so I'm gonna do five videos but I'm gonna make these five videos last and then they're only gonna be shown on each Thursday as always so that way I can have time to do it on Thursday. Yes, that is my time to do it. Now, on with the review. The Kitty Parks from the sixth episode, second season of My Little Pony. <laughs> the episode opens up with the Kitty Park Crusaders outside in the bowling alley. Bowling alley? What are they going to do? Throw hoof shoes? <laughs> Hoping to earn a Kitty Mark in bowling. They briefly branched on a new team since our enemy, the Kitty Marks, or the Kitty Mark Crusaders, would it be obsolete like the three strikers or pen twins before selling other bowling dolls? Uh huh. Well, let's see how they try. And here we are. Sweetie Belle rolls the ball to the gutlin for men in high spirits. And Scooby Belle. Wait, sorry. Scootaloo bucks her ball, sends it flying over the alley. Boom! Creates a gutter ball. And as rapid boom, she clumsily rolls her ball up here to knock over all the pins. However, the crowd point shares with Star Swirl, remarking, cool. A bowl and cutie mark. I would like to say the same thing, which is still bare. Seeing that the crowd cheer was directed toward a coat who got in his key mark. The apple, the apple blooms disappointment. Oh, hoo hoo! You gotta earn it one day. Season 5, I'm mean, at. Scooter Moon and Sweetie Belle comment on how much fun they had bowling when Apple Bloom and Jack to walk alongside them. Scooter Moon and Sweetie Belle try their best to cheer up with cup kicks from Sugar Cookie Cola, a pie of Pinkie Pie. He even knew half from rarity, but none of these worked. Apple remained despondent. She sulks off alone, one in every forest. Every free forest? You're kidding me, girlfriend. It's dangerous in there. You shouldn't be in there. Where's your sister? Where's Applejack? I'm gonna call Applejack on the phone. Well, at least of course they're living in a free forest. Unfortunately, as she chipped her tooth, it felt hurt. I mean, come on, chipping tooth. And Sakura found her and bring her to her hut to give her potion to fix her tooth. Apple expressed her frustration about a human. Sakura tells her that she simply needs to wait. My right time to for it to appear. Trust me, it took me a long time to get my cutie mark, and sadly, it took a long time. Now, Apple Bloom takes a course to fix potion, and her teeth is instantly mended. She looks then looks at the values of potion toxins around Sakura's hut, looking for a possible brew to bring about humor. When Shikora begins to make a potion to help Sh Rooster fix his morning call, Apple Blue notices a flower called Heart's Desire, which caused one time to come into view. While supposedly helped the Rooster crow again, Sakura goes out to find Amethyst to complete her potion. However, Apple Blue sets her sight on the flower and bow. Oh Lord, we know how this is going to end up, so let's see what happens in this little mess hall she creates. At the schoolyard, Apple Bloom exaggerated to show off her new keyboard, a silver hoop. And the thing is, Twist tried to figure out her special talent, and Twist thought it was going to be that you're a donut maker, which is probably adorable with a little tooth. Key mark represents which up reveal the a loop de hoop. She demonstrates her skills a loop de hoop, a value of the tricks. With other folks cheer on her, a much annoyance of silver spoon and diamond tiara. She really hears the voice cheering up on the seer, sees her powerless with hoops, asking her to give the class demonstration with the help of them play with hoops or perform an advanced hoops trick. Apple Bloom suddenly surprised a second human, which has never been done before, mysteriously, to her own part of play ads. And Diamond Tiara struggle to key marks are fake, but Apple Bloom denies it and snap and snail so her two plates seriously though. How do they have a two plates and pole with them? Seriously, that is just weird. Those plays are weird. The class is astounded by Apple Bloom's talent and each of them make their way down the street pony but in the street she nimbly performed tricks such as usual, well thrown whoop sour on twilight, similar to rare similar to rarity, which makes Pinky which makes Spike like oh googly, oh spare me the 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 Spike and Love Interest with Rarity. Seriously, Spike and Amber! We need Spike and Amber romantic episodes now! 
That night, Applejack takes a tired Applebloom home to Grandma Bigma and congratulate her. Applejack tells her that proud that they are again not one but two cutie marks. After a long day performing tricks, Applebloom heads off to bed. Late at night, Applejack is rolling in bed, being kept up by an incense tap, and she gets out of bed and eventually discovers that the sound is coming from Applebloom's room. Upon opening the door, she sees Applebloom's tap in her hoops trying to enter another cutie mark. When she's like tapping her shoes, Applejack unable to stop herself and examine the talents. At one time, he cried out to help Applebloom and horrified, unable to stop Applebloom. Removing Applejack takes her to Twilight's library to search for a cure. Unfortunately, Spike retrieves the book called Purple is perplexing. Perplexion pony pigs. Prage. Plagues. Mm. For Twilight and local apple bloom effect called the cutie pox. The book describes the bizarre disease of being a pug and pony page that often the equivalent of ponies in pale palm period. Random key marks appear all over the body and no effect of making them perform talent that came with them. Unfortunately, neither cure nor cause the breakfast break, break however, discovered. The key marks disappeared as mysterious as they are at the point. At moment point, Applebloom spotted fourth key mark, and she from the village started speaking in French. Oh no, Mrs. Tuggy and Fancy! Which is French? Which which reminds me. That's the only time we ever get to see French in this review, ser in this episode. Seriously. If there's any French speaking ponies, I would love to see that. And the three ponies decided to seek out the core for help. And this is what she says. Skittily blue, plus the monk peak, the kitty monk. Kiss to say, she party fancy. Darn it. It's in French for darn it, more cutie marks. What's this? I speak France? That's what I meant in French. Yeah, I can read a little French. <laughs> One man down. <dance. laughs> well, anyway, she quite home. Apple Bloom Q Mark began to progress more quickly, and each new baby causing more problems, strange and doing talents. Most of the same time, Tom Pan would become scared of Apple Bloom, trained to be able to believe and to be hexed, and cured, and enchanted. Spike tactically pointed out that the natural true disease is a talent pony causing them to panic. Locked themselves in their house. Oh god, this is so normal for Ponyville. When Sakura comes into town, she almost thinks that the ponies are still afraid of her. And try to apple tell that Apple Bloom is affected, inflicted. Sakura says that around this time, Apple Bloom was alone in her hut. Some of the ingredients mysteriously were missing, especially the rest of a certain flower. Fortunate, Sakura had the cure and the key park seed of truth, which only bloom words of true or pure. Object plants the seed in the ground and pleads for someone to tell the truth and begin by attempting to confess even more cupcakes than she claims to. I'll claim a secret too just to help out. Um, I've been hiding my bat wings under a fake mark. I have a fake mark on my on my back. This white spot is fake. It's just to hide my wings. I'm afraid. I'm afraid to be a bad pony. Oh, see, that's my that's my true secret. I'm afraid to be a bad pony because well. There's not a lot of bad ponies out there, and I want to be a bad pony reviewer, but sadly, I'm not. Uh oh. Oopsies. Sorry about this, my petites. Be right back. Oopsies. Oh god. I gotta fix something. Where was I? Oh yes. Yeah, so, yeah, I still want to be a bad pony. But unfortunately, it has not them to seek the desire of truth. It is Apple Bloom. She must speak the truth. And here come her Q marks. Ben C claim. This funny part though, it is funny that Pinkie Pie attempted to confess even more cupcake because she claims she did, and the C doesn't bloom. Apple Bloom speaks and we get, Ah, make it stop! Oh, make it stop! Pinkie Pie like that. Pinkie Pie goes again, finally admitted her misdeed. She had metric Q marks were all fake, and that she stole the ingredients, most important heart desire, from Shakur. During the whole process, the town people all being calmed down. When here, here, apple blooms true, just as promised, the seed true bloom to a flower, and apple will quickly eat it so it can cause the flowers to the key marks to disappear. Or the fake one said, Apple apologized to everyone, entire audio, including mine, especially the sweetie bound squiddle, getting too carried away from the key mark quest. To secure but taking the ingredients without permission, realizing how sorry Apple Bloom is from everything she learned her mistake and secure an Apple Bloom friends accept her apology. Important of patience. Apple Bloom writes a letter to Princess Celestia about what she learned about there are no shortcuts against something you desire. Most include key marks, and a good thing comes to those who wait. However, mainly after Spike sends a letter to you, Marcus decided they waited long enough and ran out of an eager again to get their key marks. Seriously. These were the cutie pox that they got, that Apple Bloom got. Also, here's a little information about the harsh flower. Planet is induced by Sakura as a cure for Brucher who lost his cock. Crow. She says that the heart's desire, his talent come to view. 
Bloom takes interest in the plant and encounters Jacoy to leave. Okay, first key park she had was, of course, <laughs> let's see, hula hooping, performing plates, spin tricks, tap dancing, ability to speak French, sculpturing, chimney sleeping, accordion, lion taming, which is quite dangerous for anyone, playing chess, fencing, type rope walking, high guy, math, weightlifting, window washing, and whirling around. Like a tornado. Also, there's something else. Also, the reference of the dance represents an old story from Han Christian Andersen's fairy tale, The Red Shoes. When it says a girl steals red shoes and the shoes makes her dance that she's not supposed to take them from her friend. I know that story very well. And what I like about it, simple parts. I love the point that I love the fact that there wasn't as much of the main six in the series. There was only Pinky and Applejack and Twilight. And of course, our, our favorite zebra was in the story. But also, Applejack sort of stole the flower because there are the consequences what comes with them stealing. And stealing is never a good thing. And, but I did like the part where she was able to uh, beat Diamantor at her own game. In the end, the flower bloomed. What a lovely design and all that. And the animation with the flower? Beautiful. But all those talents Apple Bloom had, that would teach her to not, well, let's just say, be a cutie mark snog, or snob, if you know what I mean. Those are my thoughts for the review. I hope you guys like the review of the cutie box. So, in any case, adios. See you next time, my dear friend. Next will be May the Best Pet Win. I like this one. <laughs> so do they. <sighs> Mama, why don't you turn yourself into a bat pony? Sally, I'd rather not. Well, I'm not sure if I want to show my wings. I already did in a Halloween video. I'm not ready, so please, leave me alone about it. I don't want to. I mean, I want to, but... Mom, just relax and have a drink of water. You know how you know how water helps you calm down. Thanks. I, I want to. I do have a little. I do have some information I want to give. One of my friends, Digi, Digi X ninety, is planning to help me. He's planning to help me um by by creating bad pony forms for me. So with his magic, I'm sure he'll get help me. For now, I'm just a unicorn. For now, you saw my bat wings in the Halloween videos, and that's all you'll see for now. Until then, you'll just see me as a regular old unicorn. You're not old, mommy. You had me when you were like about. Don't even think about the age. Don't even say the age. Oops. Sorry, mama. See you guys. I gotta go. I got a kid to talk to about not revealing things. You got a lot of talking to do, lady. My little lady. Okay, my brony watchers. Remember to subscribe to my channel. And remember. There's always more with me than meets the eye. Or, should I say, more than meets a white rose. Night, folks. Hee <laughs> hee